Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Steve Harvey situation, honey. So when I tell you, when I got home Sunday night, it was crazy because I got on Twitter and I was just seeing all these tweets from people going off, people being super racist. They were talking about Steve Harvey, you know, Miss Columbia. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? I'm thinking this man done whooped her ass, raped her, did something horrible. And then my subscribers and my followers on Twitter is let me know that Steve Harvey had a blunder during the 2015 Miss Universe uh, pageant. And basically he announced the wrong winner. He announced that Miss Columbia was the winner as opposed to announcing Miss Philip. So when I tell y'all the internet went crazy, folks went in on him, it was nuts. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video really quick, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. It was a crazy ending. No, it was intense. Yeah. It was intense. Miss Universe 2015 is Columbia! For an excruciating two minutes and five seconds, Miss Columbia thought she won the crown. I have to apologize. The first runner up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. Then look at this. You can see a pageant worker signaling, take the crown off her head. I was the only reporter backstage when the mix-up happened, and I tell you, everyone back there was floored. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I know. I know, that's exactly what I'm thinking right now, wow. Judge Niecy Nash was exclusive with ET after the chaos. It was hard because when all the girls came down at the end, they didn't congratulate the real winner, which was Miss Philippines. Most of them went over to Miss Columbia because they knew her heart was breaking. Right. It's just a big confusion. Yeah, yeah. But you but... do have the crown. Yes. And you are Miss Universe. Yes, and I had to ask them backstage many times, many times, like, did I really win? Am I really Miss Universe? Are you gonna take the crown from me now? And then, no, no, you're really the winner, and they really assured me. Talk about big time blunders. Listen to the crowd behind me continuing to boo. They won't leave the stadium. No one knows how this big mistake happened. They only know it happened. Miss Colombia, who bears a striking resemblance to fellow Colombian Sofia Vergara, had a message to fans. Everything happens for a reason, so I'm happy. I'm a little shocked. That was an insane a little? ending. What just happened? Have you ever seen anything like that before? I've never even in my wildest dreams. Like, I actually thought, you know, Steve's a comedian. I thought he was making a bizarre joke. The Washington Post and a lot of people are asking if it was all some sort of publicity stunt. It was a mistake, you know, it was just an honest mistake. Harvey said he simply misread this card with the results. But in a now deleted Snapchat video, he blamed it on the teleprompter. Then the talk show host made everything a little bit worse with this tweet, writing, quote, I want to apologize emphatically to Miss Philippines and Miss Colombia. The problem was he misspelled both Philippines and Colombia. Next, Trump's take. The candidate tweeted, very sad what happened last night at the Miss Universe pageant. I sold it six months ago for a record price. This would have never happened. It was a tough evening, and I would say this. I would recommend that they go have a new, beautiful ceremony, which is good for the brand and good for Miss Universe, and do a co-winner. And I think something like that could work. All right, so you guys just watched that video, and like I said, everybody and their mama had something to say about the situation. But what was also crazy was all the racism that I saw on Twitter, you know, especially coming from Latin American countries, which I know a lot of Latin Americans are very racist, which to me I always find crazy, because a lot of Latin Americans have have African ancestry in them. Even though a lot of them like to deny it and they don't want to claim Africa, but they want to worship Spain, at the end of the day, they do have African ancestry in them. And when I'm sitting here watching people tweet that Steve Harvey's a nigger and he should be killed for disrespecting Miss Columbia, you know, I just thought that that was a bit much. We all make mistakes, everybody blunders. Some people just need to calm the fuck down, okay? It's not that damn serious. But I won't lie, I did enjoy the memes, okay? The memes kept me laughing. So go ahead and check out these memes. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. Commentary.
All right, so you guys just saw the memes, the comments, and what folks had to say. So to me, the whole situation was insane. It was not that serious, though. You know, I will say this. A lot of times, Steve Harvey likes to coon and clown. And a lot, you know, you got some people saying, like, you know, it's not that serious. You know, people need to leave Steve Harvey alone. He just made a mistake. Well, no, people have the right to clown him because Steve Harvey takes delight in clowning other people. Hence why he's a comedian, okay? So as a comedian, you can dish it, honey, but then you can't take it, boo. That's not how it works. You know, so people have the right to clown him and, you know, make fun of him and poke fun at him. But people don't have the right to be racist towards him and call him out his name. It's not that damn serious. You know, another thing I also found funny is that his wife spoke out. And of course, you know, she's not going to leave him or divorce him over something like this. So she also had her husband's back, which, you know, makes sense. That's her husband. The thing is, if Steve Harvey would have actually went to practice and he would have actually practiced his lines instead of trying to add a flair and be hip and cool. If you would have just read what the hell was on the damn card, Steve, none of this would have happened, you know. So I can't feel bad for him. I think this forced Steve Harvey to eat some humble pie. And then the fact that he tried to apologize, but he misspelled Colombia and Philippines. It's like, come on, Steve. You mean to tell me that you couldn't have spell check the name of the country before you posted the apology? Now it comes off as kind of cheap. I also find it funny that Donald Trump had something to say. You know, Donald Trump, you, you chose to sell the pageant six months ago. So really, you need to just kind of fall back. Stop talking about if it was your pageant, none of this would have ever happened. Things happen. It is what it is. Nobody died. This is going to go down as a moment in history. Before this blunder went viral, no, most people weren't even watching this. You know what I'm saying? Most people saw this after the fact. Most people saw this once it went viral on Twitter. So it's not like millions of people are tuning in watching this pageant. So I just found the whole situation just hilarious to me. But I will say that, you know, it's good that he did apologize to them. But part of me feels like, you know, some folks just take things to a whole nother level. And we know Columbia does not play, honey, when it comes to soccer. I remember like a few years ago one of their soccer players you know he missed the winning kick and he was later on killed so they take things like this really seriously but just relax breathe you know what I mean it was a mistake it's not that serious heads should not be rolling because Steve Harvey made a mistake okay how you doing so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you guys feel about the whole Steve Harvey situation do you feel like you know his apology was good enough or do you feel like it was kind of insulting being that he misspelled both Colombia and Philippines and then do you feel like this was done on purpose? Was it an accident? And then how do you feel about the racist people on Twitter going off on Steve Harvey in the manner that they were going off on him? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.